Good evening students. I hope you are watching the week video sequentially and following the content which I am teaching in the lectures. Okay. And if you have any problem, you can either call me or I will make a separate video to solve your problems. Okay. In the previous class, students, we were discussing about the factors affecting the rate of evaporation. There are certain factors like temperature, surface area, humidity, wind speed and the nature of the liquid. Okay. So these factors were responsible for the rate of evaporation. Now there is a very one important usage of evaporation which, which is that evaporation causes cooling. How we can understand this? See, when we perspire in the summer days, okay, so what happens? When our sweat comes outside our body from the pores of our body, it evaporates, absorbing heat from the body and we feel cool. That means the sweat which was coming out of the body has absorbed the heat of our body and it evaporates and leaving our body cool. There's one more example how evaporation causes cooling. See, there are some houses which are in certain regions where the scorching heat of the sun directly falls on the roof of the house. And so for, for that, various people used to do terrace farming. On the terrace, we, they, grow, they used to grow plants on which they pour water. Okay, And when the water which is poured absorbs the heat of the room, it evaporates. And what happens? It keeps the room cool. Okay, So there we can send some more examples of how evaporation causes cooling. Let's see. One of the daily life example is why does water get cooled in an earthen pot which we call surahi or matka okay so you can see there are some villages kuch gaon hote hain jahan par aapne dekha hoga aajkal kuch shaharon mein bhi log rakhte hain matka rakhte hain aur usme pani rakhte hain dekhiye matke mein small small chhidra hote hain pores hote hain और जो पानी मटके के अंदर होता है उन पोर्स में से उन छिद्रों में से वो सी पाउट हो जाता है थोड़ा बाहर निकल जाता है ठीक है और जब वो बाहर निकलता है तो सराउंडिंग से भीट लेता है मटके की भी गर्मी लेता है अब्जॉर्व करता है और जो पानी है मटके के अंदर उसको भी उसकी हीट को भी अब्जॉर्व करता है और जब पानी जब ड्रॉप्स हैं जो पानी है वो इनफ हीट अब्जॉर्व कर लेता है इट कन्वर्ट्स इन वेपर्स एंड What happens? It leaves behind the water which is inside the pot or inside the matka. It remains, it makes it cool. That is a process which I taught you about how the application of evaporation helps in daily life. Okay. So next students, one more example. Why do trees acquire more leaves during summer? See, this is a very common process known as transpiration. What it means? It means that when the, when the water evaporates from the surface of the leaves of the plants, that process is known as transpiration. And how it, how why it is important and how it helps a plant to feel cool. See, the transpiration when the leaves from when the water when the when the water from the leaf surface evaporates, it takes the heat of the plant, and what happens? The plant feels cool. That is why there are the plants should grow more leaves in the summer days so that it should remain cool. That is the reason behind why trees acquire more leaves during summer. Students, there are some more questions which are related to the same concept like why should we wear cotton clothes during summer or why does the air passing through a desert cooler becomes cool? cool? So you have to write these answers. You have to think about it based on the based on the explanation, my explanation. Okay. Write these answers and post me in, on the Google Classroom. Thank you very much. I hope you were, you were able to understand what I taught you in this class. Thank you very much.